Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce a new radar system that is tracking radar. So till now we have seen different radar systems uh, like uh, pulse radar, CW radar, FMCW radar and all these radars are used for uh, MT radar and pulse doppler radar. All these radars have been used for the detection of a target and its movement whether the target is a moving target or not. So such type of targets have been identified so far in the different types of radar systems. Now in this tracking radar the as the name clearly tells that we are going to work on the movement of the target first point another thing is we are going to estimate what is the future position of the target that means tracking okay so at t equal to 0 seconds let let us consider at t equal to 0 seconds the range of the target is like 100 kilometers at t equal to like 10 seconds the range of the target is like 120 kilometers that means uh, the distance of the target is keep on changing as the target is in movement our radar system should also rotate in accordance with the movement of the target so that the tracking could be done okay so see here observe this video you can understand what a radar a tracking radar will do this is the radar system. The globe here shows a radar system with the protection of radon. The globe is nothing but radon to protect the radar system. Inside which we have radar antenna. This yellow color line is the signal that is connected from the radar system onto this target. <coughs> okay. So here what is going on? Initially the target is identified at a particular position. Using some techniques we will identify the position of the target. Once the target is identified, our next step is to track the particular target. So in, in order to track this particular target, the antenna plate must be rotated, rotated in the same direction in which the target is moving. Then that type of radar system is known as tracking radar. Okay. So tracking radar is used to uh, tracking radar. is used to identify the future position of the target okay so what is the purpose of tracking data tracking data is used to identify the future position of the target so tracking can be done Tracking can be done in either range that means by using the parameter range we can track the object or using Doppler frequency nothing but velocity using Doppler frequency. So using range we can track the target using Doppler frequency we can track the target and using another important factor that is angle also we can track the target that is nothing but the future position of the target can be analyzed or estimated using any one of these three different parameters like range doppler frequency and angle so what is the what is the angle and what do you mean by angle azimuthal angle and elevation angle See here, angle of the radar system from the target can be classified into two different types. That is azimuthal angle and elevational angle. Azimuthal angle and elevation angle. So what do you mean by azimuth angle and what do you mean by elevation angle? That means actually there are four different factors that are used to identify the future position of the target one is range another one is doppler frequency another two are azimuthal angle and elevation angle so using any one of these factors or a combination of these factors we can identify the future position of the target so if you take the see the diagram if you take this 
radar system at the center <coughs> this is the place where the radar system is located okay and it is the plane of radar system the dark color line this is the plane in which the radar system is located that means everything is horizontal with respect to radar system and this is the north direction 0 degrees where we are initiating the position of the <coughs> target at 0 degrees nothing but north position okay and there are two other uh, angles are also there nadir and zenith zenith is nothing but towards in the upward direction that is 90 degrees from the earth surface and nadir is in the downward direction okay nadir is not shown here because that is none of the working here so let us consider a target which is located at this particular position <coughs> okay let us consider a target is located in this particular location where the yellow color is showing now i will explain what is the azimuthal angle and what is the elevation angle so azimuthal angle is nothing but see from 0 degrees from 0 degrees draw a line from this target onto the surface where the radar system is located onto this surface this is the line okay a line has to be drawn from the target onto the surface and again join a line from the center of the radar system onto this line now see the angle how much it is making from north 0 degrees until this target that angle is nothing but azimuthal angle azimuthal angle is the angle made by the target on to the axis that is parallel to the surface of the radar system okay azimuthal angle is nothing but is the angle made by the target on to the surface of the <coughs> radar system from the zero degrees okay that means the azimuthal angle is in the same plane of the radar system with respect to horizontal direction horizontally okay so this is what the azimuthal angle and by by seeing the name we can identify what is elevation angle elevation angle is nothing but it is the angle in the upward direction previously we have drawn a line here and we have drawn a line here so if you draw a line from if you take the angle from here to here this target what is the angle made by here this is nothing but elevation angle okay so elevation angle is nothing but in the upward direction azimuthal angle is nothing but in the plane of surface this is in the upward direction and this is in the horizontal direction on the same surface so the tracking can be done using a range frequency doppler frequency azimuth angle and elevation angle or a combination of these parameters combination of these parameters can be used to identify the future position of the target this is what the tracking radar and how it is working okay there are two types of tracking radars generally available using these techniques what i explained so far there are there are two tracking radars available One is continuous tracking radar, continuous tracking radar, and second one is track while scan, track while scan. So, what do you mean by continuous tracking radar, and what do you mean by track while scan? Some tracking radars are used to identify a target first and then it switches to the mode that is tracking. Okay, suppose before the position before the tracking operation starts, first it has to identify the position of the target. Okay, without identifying, we cannot track the target. So, first, what we need to do, we need to identify whether the target is there in the vicinity of the radar system or not. So, initially we need to get the acquiring, acquiring okay acquisition acquisition is nothing but getting the information of the presence of the target so once the target is acquired then we are switching to the mode called tracking mode 
okay so in continuous tracking radar one radar system is there one antenna is there it is used to identify the target first and then it is switched to the um, mode called tracking so this is what continuous tracking mode once the continuous tracking is switched on until and unless is in the uh, vicinity of the radar uh, until and unless the target is in the vicinity of the radar system that uh, radar system will track continuously but whereas in the track while scan first the tracking um, first the target is identified once the target is identified it switches the operation tracking and another radar and antenna is there that is used to track that means in this there are two different antennas are there two antennas are used one is for acquisition that is nothing but whether the target is there or not once the target is identified the information is switched to information is given to tracking antenna okay when uh, this information is given to tracking antenna and this uh, antenna is free this antenna is used to again acquire the new data new target information okay this is nothing but continuous radar and uh, tracking radar now the continuous tracking radar or a tracking radar is nothing but which is used to track the target nothing but track the target which is done by moving the plate of the antenna so tracking is possible by rotating the antenna plate by rotating the antenna plate so this can be done the rotation can be done using servo motors we know servo motors so servo motors are used to rotate the plate of the antenna so what is the input for the servo motor definitely there should be some input for the servo motor then only it is used to rotate the antenna what could be the input for the servo motor so input for servo motor is an error signal is an error signal so how to generate the error signal is the matter here okay so once the error signal is there that error signal we are giving it to the servo motor servo motor will rotate so that the tracking is going to be done so error signal can be generated i will write here on the next slide error signal can be generated using sequential lobing sequential lobing or also known as lobe switching lobe switching or also known as sequential switching and second type is conical scan conical scan method so these are the two methods used to generate an error signal sequential lobing and conical scan method so another another method is also their amplitude comparison method and uh, uh, phase comparison method so monopole striking method monopole striking method monopulse tracking method so these are the different methods used to identify the tracking radar used to identify a target and to use it to track the target so sequential lobing and conical scan method those two are used to uh, generate the error signal that error signal is given to the servo motor input and then it will rotate 
okay so i will explain what is the sequential lobing and conical scan method in the next class next video thank you